January of 1974, by now a barrel of oil cost nearly $10, the modern equivalent of $50. Secretary Kissinger makes another trip to Egypt to meet Sadat once again. The next day he flies to Tel Aviv. Egypt and Syria accept an agreement on and stop the fighting. But Israel still occupies part of Syria and are now only 20 miles away from Damascus. Kissinger promises a settlement between Israel and Syria and manages to take Israelite forces out of the Sinai Peninsula by January 18. This was enough to convince OPEC to lift the oil embargo in March of 1974. However, Kissinger still had to finish the job. In May, Kissinger goes back, this time to broker a deal between Damascus and Tel Aviv. After a month of hard negotiations, Kissinger manages to make a breakthrough. On May 28, 1974, Israel approved a disengagement agreement with Syria. Signed in Geneva on June 5th, it brought the war in October to an official end. There were a few people within the Nixon administration who really believed that we should go into Saudi Arabia in particular, which is the country that had the most oil reserves, that we should go in there with force, with military, and actually try to seize the oil fields, the army, and to actually bring in, you know, tanks and so forth. 